I belong to the earth and the land and the and the um, water was my home, the earth was my home, the land was my home, the forest was my home before residential school. Everything was connected to me, my my home, my my uh, my everything. And then one day, I remember. I remember they picked us up. We were fishing, and I got picked up with, along with a bunch of other kids, Achini uh, Benerskams, Munias, Baxters. A bunch of us got picked up by airplanes. But the thing I remember was when uh, we got to Nakina, where they, before they put us on the, on the plane, before they put us on the train to go to Macintosh, they gave us uh, lunch sandwich bag probably and then they also gave us something I'll never forget they gave us a, a tag like a, a name tag the name tag uh, said that I was headed for residential school to Macintosh they didn't say my name it said Macintosh so that's where they would the conductor would know where to get these uh, native children off. If you were get off at Sulacote, you were an Anglican kid, and if you got off at Macintosh, you were a Catholic kid. That's how they categorized us where to go. So we would get off in Macintosh in the middle of uh, nowhere, and we got inside there. I didn't speak a word of English. Um, I didn't understand any any English at all, so I never heard it. No one talked to us. They, they talked, but we didn't understand them. They just pushed us around and do this to do that. I was kind of chubby. The, the nuns, uh, after a while, I began to understand English, and they always called me the Groos, the Groos. They used to say the big one or something. And they would look at them and say, what are they saying, French and nuns? And uh, somebody would tell me, uh, she's saying you're a beautiful angel. We had one Ojibwe, Ojibwe Sultul nun, that's a different dialect from our dialect. But she began to talk to us in Macintosh. She began to talk to us in our language. We treasured her, but uh, the the boys didn't like her. They called her names. I don't know why. She looked funny. She had one eye twitching open all the time. So I remember her stories. She used to sing a song to us, too. She used to sing a song that, uh, um, that sang about the bartender. He drank his cup. To the full, he gave you a drink to the full. She used to sing that song to us. <laughs> I didn't know what kind of song that was until I began to understand her language. And today, I still remember her song she used to sing. So it goes like this: Sigini Gavin is the bartender. Sigini Gavin, ne ne, wa winge si, o meni kaga ne si tashu ge chuske badon ga. Win the worship me.